All right. Uh, let's see. Is it done? I think it's done. Let's do some limbo theorem. Now it's becoming clear. Could it be that there's a plane between our normal plane and the void? A space between space? A rift? A rift that this limbo could control? Oh, and I've marked your navigation console. I think you'll be quite pleased with what you find there. Well, first and foremost, we need to switch away from my Nidus. Because he is not who we want for this. I guess I'll go Valkyr Prime. I'm not I'm not a big fan of Valkyr Prime. Uh, I'm sure, really, I just need to learn how to build it right. But I'm lazy. Okay, so Limbo Systems, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, it is Limbo. I was like, wait a second, aren't we already on the Limbo thing? But no, no, no. We're doing this right. I just had to brain. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. You'd think they'd clone something a little less ugly. You know, I really am surprised that Grunier don't get into, like, extensive genetic engineering. I mean, maybe they do, but... I don't know, it just feels like, uh, the Grunier are kind of lazy. Or maybe they gave, gave up on genetic, genetic engineering, because that's how they ended up with something. I, I don't know. This might actually be a little bit harder than I thought. So, main issue is... I'm a, um... I'm Valkyr. The excavator has run out of power. Find a cell. I might have actually been better off going, uh, Frost for this one. I'm just hoping to double up a little bit, EXP-wise. It's not that big of a deal. If I have to, if I have to start this over. I'm just realizing all of a sudden, I don't have any means of just defending the, uh, the excavator. And that's, that's a problem. And these guys actually do a ton of damage to it, and I don't have a whole lot of range. Unfortunately, I love the Atomos. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. I love the Atomos. It's a great weapon. It's range. Where did you come from? It's range leaves a little bit to be desired. To say the least. Okay, I'm not even going to go for those. Okay, do we... no. This guy had one? No? Shoot. At least I can cut through almost everybody in a very short period of time, but yeah, we're totally out of power. I guess I can go for this. Okay. It's very injured. Where? Where? Where are you coming from? I feel like these Grenier are just coming out of the woodwork. Unfortunately, this is out in the open. We got it. But still. Note to self. Go Frost for the rest of this. Don't be stupid. Uh, it's over here. Well, I guess I really only just have to get 300 cryotic. I actually don't need to succeed at uh, protecting the excavators, I think. Well, that's kind of helpful in its own its own right. But yeah, I did I did bring the uh, the wrong stuff. I get the feeling those grenier might be spawning or they might be they might have been dropping down from somewhere. Ooh. Yeah, I could see that. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Grenier prey on the weak. But we, we prey on the Grenier. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. There's one. There's two. 
Nice part is we do get shields back for all of this. Anything? Nope. No power cores. Yep, there are people coming from over here. Just this guy, really. Yeah, I see them with a like weird lump on their back, and I'm like, oh, that's that's one of the guys. But no, it's these guys. This is a much much better uh, setup for defense. And hello, there's the last of the power. There we go. I guess my I guess my Atamos does have more range than I thought it did. Like I always assume this thing has a fairly short uh fairly short distance, but I did pump it up pretty hard. I might re-roll the ribbon a couple of times eventually, like if and when it gets cheaper. Uh because it would actually be kind of a nice It'd be kind of a nice thing to uh, to see if I could get like a range bonus, range flat damage, and like maybe one other thing. We're good. We're good. Okay. Yeah, we'll get this done. I was concerned. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. So we're just here. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while dodge it on me. the artifact. There we go. Nothing, nothing. All right, Transfer nope. still holding. These guys did a number on this thing. Ow. Okay, there we go. Now I can just defend. Fortunately, they get more range than I do. I guess if I hang out on this box... Yeah, I guess I can hit them from there. We are earning no focus. I guess this really isn't a good mission for it. I'm not too far away. Come back here just a little bit closer. Just a... yeah, Unfortunately, they've got more range than I do. So all they have to do is just stand outside of my firing radius. I'm just gonna drop that for some extra shields. I swear they spawn when I turn my back. They've gotta. Right? I guess that guy just didn't kill. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep pumping cores into this thing. Well, I guess we just finished. Extraction is available, if you choose. Duh. Man, I remember when I was uh, but a wee lad playing this game, not understanding what it was about. And I would do defense missions, uh, like the early ones, for uh, for extra mods, thinking the, uh, thinking the rewards from every tier were great. You know, because oftentimes I would get mods and resources that I, I didn't have. But really what I was doing was doing like, really early on defense missions for like 20 waves purely because I didn't have a, anything better further on or a better understanding or good mods really just all of those things together it was not a good combo huh we've got a cyst to go get rid of hey but we're finally done leveling the uh, Valkyr Prime until I decide to uh, forma her because she's gonna need a forma she's definitely gonna need a forma everybody needs a forma but, uh, have I gotten rid of my old... Operator, do you understand? This limbo is telling us his story in pure math. And I must say, he's quite witty. You have to forge that blueprint as soon as possible. I must know what comes next. Alright, there's the limbo systems. Unfortunately, we're going to be here for the next 12 hours. So, I guess we're going to have a bit of a mid-episode skip. Let's go deal with that tumor, though. Assist. Sorry. I really do hope they get more into the this room. Like why this exists. Operator, no! Have you lost your mind?
Because, yeah, the fact that that whole thing is just there is fascinating, and I'd love to know more about it. All right, so we're done with that. I guess the last frame here that I have to level is Banshee Prime. And then we're good to go. Let's see. Oh, I still have a Valkyr. I should get rid of my, my base Valkyr. <laughs> and my base Oberon. Right, I still have a regular Oberon there. Banshee looks weird. What uh, what skins are there for Banshee? Not much. There's like the Immortal skin. There is the Soprano skin, which Shell had wanted, but we don't really play. Uh, she doesn't really play much for Warframe. It's not really her kind of game. Banshee Prime looks pretty cool though. Let's uh, I guess I will beautify her. We will, we will pick this episode up. Yeah, honestly, I might just saturate her more. At least for now. Pretty much the sa <laughs> standard color scheme that I always run with. Alright, uh... Let's go blue energy. There we go. Striking. I don't know. Mainly, I'm just lazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go wait for 12 hours. See you in a bit. All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Warframe. Uh, let's see, so are, are these done? I hope these are done. Just as I suspected, another theorem. Limbo's formula for inverting the entropic mass of void quantums is downright naughty. I want more. Operator, please hurry. This story is getting quite good. You know... I hadn't quite fully processed this at this point uh, before we took the little mid-episode break. But we are literally just getting smut for Ordis. Like, that is that is what the Limbo... <laughs> that is what the Limbo quest is. Okay, Limbo Theorem, Sirtis Mars, again. Is it... It's extraction again, isn't it? You know what? Uh... I'd like to level up my... I'd love to level up my Banshee, but I think I'm gonna go with the, uh... Let's go with the smart option and roll Frost. Because this way I don't have to worry about extractions destroying me. Let's see. That is... Right, right? No, we already did Sirtis on Mars, did we not? I'm not really sure. Uh, <laughs> I should probably look this up. I think we're fine. I just want to make sure that we're not, uh, we're not accidentally doing a, a mission. Okay, so... Huh. Because I've already done the Sirtis Mars. Okay. So if I do this, it's not going to get me anything. I did just get the limbo sy systems, right? Um... Oh, I made the Limbo Systems. Wait, hold, hold phone. What? Limbo. Oh. Okay, did I not? Did I do this wrong? I didn't make the Limbo Chassis Theorem. Because we have the systems and the neuroptics already done. So, okay. So I guess it's just having me do it again. And we already did... Os... I... What? <laughs> I am lost. I like the idea of quests to do Warframes, but trying to... Trying to, uh... Include... 
um, build times in in them is actually like really jarring. It it gets really confusing. And so I I actually I mean I I've been working on this quest for months now technically just because I keep putting it off because new things happen and other stuff is going on and I get distracted really easily. And so it's I mean we I break I I stop for 20 24 hours, 48 hours, really. More parts to the story. My word, he is a magician of logic. Just when I think his diffraction principle is full of dangling ratios, he expresses his dynamic constant in pure numbers. I never saw it coming. Okay, so I think I think we're good now. Yep, Ose on Europa. I was wondering about that. I was very confused. Yeah, because I had to break for 48 hours. Just because I'm hella busy. Uh, even today, I'm just recording this in the, like, uh, gap time between waking up and going off to go see Thor, which, okay, fine, not exactly the most important thing ever, but I'm a busy dude, so some, it kind of sucks having the whole, like, oh, by the way, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to split this, uh, this quest An up. Artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. You're gonna have to split this quest up into, like, a bunch of different parts, just because that's how it's designed. I'm really glad that they they've moved past this uh, for like more recent quest frames I just almost actually wish that they'd uh, they'd go back and re revamp some of these so that they were it just in general I, I, I feel like Warframe Transfer is still holding. should have like a, a story mode uh, that you know maybe does actually get you some of the frames and stuff Ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Because it, it would be cool if there was, you know, maybe 20, 30 missions, you know, very similar tile set, but uh, unique. And designed entirely for, uh, designed entirely to, like, you know, introduce new players to, to the game. Uh, the plot, the world, so on and so forth, and move from there. Because this is a really cool, this is a really cool world, and I'd I'd love to see uh, some like love get put into um, uh, get put into the actual like storyline. But I guess it's not really repetitive, uh, repeatable. It could be repeatable if you wanted it to. The other thing I'd say is I would. I love I love Warframe. I think I like Warframe. Okay, so I have been playing some Destiny 2 at the same time. Go to the dig site. I think I can safely say I I like Warframe better just because of the the variety in the weapons and like the the fun aspect and stuff like that. Um, why was that guy falling over? I have no idea. But I wish it had some level of like Destiny 2's content or Destiny 1's or whatever. You know, story missions and strikes. Okay. I can't figure out how to jump over that railing. I, I kept trying to jump and my character kept bullet jumping into nothing. Well, whatever. We've got energy canisters everywhere. Oh, and we're done. I guess I could actually keep multiple. Well. Come here. Oh, hi. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. I am the excavator now. All right, fine. You know what? I'm just going to use the has Kermit the target. Operator. Go to the dig site. I'm just going to use Kermit the Operator here. Uh, to boost my energy up. Wait, no, this thing just has no. Uh, this thing just has no collision. All right. I think I'm gonna have to go back and switch the pink out on the uh, the operator suit. Okay, I, I've I've lost it. I'm sure I could get it uh, get back in there, but I actually need some more power cells. I was hoping I'd actually just stand inside the. Oh no! Now it has collision. I was hoping I could actually just stand in there and just look like this weird excavator goon. I like being a goon. There we go. Imagine if Warframe had vehicle segments. I'm, I'm just thinking about the uh, the differences between Warframe and Destiny, and obviously, like they are uh, completely incomparable. 
Uh, but it made me think about like Warframe and Halo, and then I was just like, what if it had vehicle segments? The answer is that would be we really need weird. Power cell for the excavator. It wouldn't be good. I mean, it could actually be good. It's just the main thing is Warframes themselves, like baseline, are pretty fast. Uh, fast. I'm not going to call them creations, but uh, you can zip around real quickly. And so it, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of silly, the idea of uh, having to hop in a car. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog in a car. It's like why, why? <laughs> it's not going to do anybody any good. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. An artifact has been located. Yeah, it is. I gotta, I gotta keep bolstering this, uh, this energy gain bubble. I think at some point I'll just sit down and just go do a bunch of uh, affinity farming with my with my ember, you know, just dark sector survival for plastids or neurodes or something. Both, really. I should not have put a lens on my my Gerudo. Kind of wish I could take it off at this point, but I don't think I can. Be cool if I could, because yeah, I'd I'd put it on a gun. Then I don't use melee enough to really make it worth it. I could. I could actually use melee here. That was like no damage for some reason. What is the this dude doing? Has run out of power. Okay. Find a cell. We just had Tebow the Corpus there. Either that or I I don't think they have shoelaces to tie. And I have to wonder uh, if the corpus suits are, are comfortable or not. Like, I don't know. I, I'm the kind of person that likes uh, semi-loose-fitting clothing because I'm a warm dude. And if it's, like, too tight, I just end up feeling kind of smothered. And, you know, all the corpus and all the grenier are wearing these, like, fairly tight-looking suits. Rubber suits, even. I... I can only imagine it probably gets pretty sweaty in there. I guess that's probably why they're on ice planets. It's like, no, let's just let's just uh, set up on a planet that's sub-zero, and everybody will just uh, freeze their butts off. Extraction Problem solved. Now available. We okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd explain it. You put them on a uh, on a warm planet, and they just die. I am lost. I like this tile set, but it is also kind of a pain to navigate. So I, I've gotten significantly better at it over the years. I just remember the first time I got here and I was just like, how do I get anywhere? And then minimap was decidedly unhelpful. Oh right, I don't have music running, do I? Let me fix that. There we go. Music. I got 14 focus. We'll be there someday. What are people saying in clan chat? Oh. The final part. I... I can't wait. What harrowing leaps of cross-dimensional gymnastics will he attempt next? I actually don't know any of these guys. Yeah, the clan has been growing a little bit. And that's fine. Okay, uh... Oh boy, neural sensors and an argon crystal. Well, the neural sen sensors aren't so bad, but the argon crystal's a pain. Okay, well, let's see about Mirage. Construct the Warframe component so we can decipher the next clue. Though I must admit, Tenno, I am not sure I want to know what happens next. Operator, another Mirage inscription. One more act before your prize is caught. An ancient sea creature. Take a whirl or not. Look for the monster that swallowed sailors of yore. Make a mistake and you're sunk. Nothing more. Ordis has placed all the information in your inbox. Okay. And as usual, we use uh, we use Tenonet to figure out uh, where we're supposed to go. I. Uh, I feel kind of cheaty for this, 
They're all based on, like, uh, lore. Lore, um, I guess, ancient myth-ish. So we're looking for Charybdis. Uh, so anybody that was, like, a, a buff, uh, for, like, not hi historical stories necessarily, but a buff for that sort of thing, uh, would probably get really excited for these, like, little riddles, because they might even know it. Uh... But, like, for me, I think I'd be better served just clicking on planet to planet and seeing if they'd actually have the, uh, the bonus objectives. Which is not exactly great. We must not let this infestation get any more out of control. Destroy the spawning hives in the area. Oh, do I... Oh, this is a hive? Did I... I'm gonna back out. Did I select the wrong one? Because it said mobile defense. Y yes? 